Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the short thumbnail issue. If you use short, you know that you're not able to pick your own thumbnail. So here's a tutorial of how I was able to fix it on one of my accounts. I just stumbled upon it and I'll show you what to do. You're going to need CapCut, which is free. You can either download it on your phone or your desktop. And then you're going to need a thumbnail designed in somewhere preferably canva and even if you don't have a thumbnail design but you want to use a particular piece of your video you can also use that as well and i'll show you shortly the first thing that you want to do is to go to CapCut to get your file if you haven't imported your file you can click on importing it automatically but i have already started editing mine so this is it and i am done editing so the reason we're using CapCut is because CapCut allows us to set what the thumbnail image will be. So I'm going to pick a particular, um, let's say I want to pick a particular shot from here. This is why I was saying that if you want to pick a specific shot from your video, you can do that or you can upload a shot. Why I like to use CapCut is that I'm able to scrub to find an image if I don't remember to take a picture which i mostly done so for example if i found an image i'll just go over here and click on export still frame and it's going to export that exact frame for me as a picture then if you want to use this exact picture without edits as your thumbnail you just click here and then click on edit and then click on complete and this becomes your thumbnail so if you look over here you can see that it is now your cover but for me i want to create one in canva so i'm going to go over to here and then i'm going to go to canva to go and create my thumbnail so i like to keep my thumbnail simple so i'm just going to duplicate this old one um let me duplicate this one I'm going to delete the old picture. I'm going to upload the one I just took as a screenshot, which is on my desktop. And then once I upload that, I can add it to the background. And then I'm going to say, move to back. I can edit the photo to have more um, brightness, a little bit of contrast or whatever. I'm not really good with photo editing, but I just do what I can. And then you can also, something else I like about Canva is that you can also add a bit of focus. So if you do auto focus, it will blur out the background a bit and focus the image on you. So the, the blur intensity is too much. So I'm just going to reduce it here. So that looks good. Then for the thumbnail, we're talking about... Um, five business accounts and I would just pick a thumbnail name and then I'm going to adjust this I like to add an icon so I'll just put bank or something or maybe I'll put this and then I'll put something like uh, no like the money graphic there's this money graphic that's is here and then i'll just move this to the back a bit so maybe i can i can't put it behind my head without separating my head from my body so i'm just going to do this and leave it at that so i'm going to call this five business bank accounts and then i'm going to download this as an image so i'm going to select the current page that i'm in and then it will download now this is very important because you're going to need to um, have some kind of seo on the image that you're using so after i save that to my desktop I'm going to go back to CapCut. I'm going to click on the X button to remove the current cover. Select the pencil icon again. And then I'm going to click on Local. So Local will allow me to upload an image of my choice. And then now I have that image as my cover image. So once it's in, and then I can go ahead with exporting the entire video. So I'm going to go to File, Export. I'm going to rename this as 
five business bank accounts for every LLC. And then I'm going to click on export. We're going to wait on it to finish exporting. Now that the video has finished downloading, what we're going to do is that we're going to try to publish this to YouTube. So to publish to YouTube, we need to first um, post it on your phone, not on your desktop. So I'm going to go over to where the video was posted on my desktop and i'm going to send this to my phone so something else i like about CapCut is that it actually allows you to share the image that you put as the thumbnail in one very nice folder so i'm just going to share both to my phone so i'm going to airdrop it it's my iphone there and then we'll wait for it to send now that the video has been sent it's now showing on my phone so now that it's on my phone i'm ready to go so now that the video is on my phone i'm going to go over to my photos so that i can see the video and then now that it is there i will just go over to CapCut captions rather to get the video in a caption because i like my videos to have captions and then i'm going to click on the video is going to show me you can see that I have the thumbnail showing as the very first thing and then I'm going to click on done continue with one item and then I'm going to proceed with English then you're going to give it a few seconds to upload now that the video is completely done the captions you can see them there I'm going to adjust the style that I use so I like to use the Altair style okay everything looks good then now that um i'm happy with the captions i'm ready to export so i'm going to click on export here and then i like to export at 4k resolution and then i'm going to export to my camera roll so something i want to point out that you see that it's still recognizing the thumbnail here because the thumbnail was set from CapCut and it always recognizes it so the export is now complete and I can view it in the camera roll and then you see that the video is there with the captions that I want. So the next thing I want to do is to go over to YouTube to get the video uploaded. So I'm going to open my YouTube account app on my phone then I'm going to make sure I'm in the right account then I'm going to click on the plus. I want to create a short. I can click on the video. Here it is. And then I'm going to click on done and it's going to load for a few seconds. There we go. Then I'm going to click on the check box sign to show that I've completed it. I'm going to click on next. And now you can see here that the thumbnail is exactly where it wants supposed to be and then you can also adjust it if in case it doesn't pick the right one you can also adjust it like this to make sure that it is choosing the right thumbnail then you click on done you can then add caption to your shot so i'm going to just write something like do you have these five business accounts and then i'm going to add a few hashtags um okay that's enough and then i'm going to click on done then i'm able to now upload my shot so it's going to tell me that it's uploading the video we're going to wait done so now i can see the video and this is what it looks like so you see it also has the thumbnail there on the account you still have the thumbnail on the video and if we were to go to and if you go over to shorts you can see here that it maintains the thumbnail which is great to know and if you are looking at it in the feed as well it will always have this particular thumbnail 
So when I'm looking at it from another account, I'm not looking at it from the business account itself. So you see that it maintains the video and this one. This one, when I first did it, I didn't make sure to edit and make sure that the thumbnail was on thumbnail. That's why this one came out like this. But I learned my lesson and now you can see that you can have your custom thumbnail whenever you want. So, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.